Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making this painted acrylic sign perfect for featuring your signature cocktails or bar menu. Let's start by finding the drink graphics. I wanted to find a full set that worked well for everyone, whether you're having a martini or beer and wine, and I failed to find a full set anywhere on Cricut. And since I have a subscription to Creative Fabrica, I searched on there and found this perfect set to download to my computer. I'll link these below along with a 30% coupon for all of Creative Fabrica's subscriptions. So once that is downloaded to my computer, I pick the ones I will be using and save those to a folder I can easily find later. Now we are ready to start designing this on Cricut Design Space. I enter in a box to serve as my placeholder, unlock that, and change that to the size of my acrylic piece, an 8 by 10 inches. I start adding in the text and change the font to Holo Gazelle, also from Creative Fabrica. I need to connect these letters together, so I ungroup them and individually move them into position. I then weld those to create each word. Then I just move those up to the area that I want them to be on the sign. So now it's time to upload those graphics that we already downloaded to our computer. We need to upload those into Cricut Design Space. So just go over to the Upload tab, upload these as simple. Since it's the SVG, um, it will go ahead and be ready to cut um, when you upload it to Cricut Design Space. So no need to go in there and delete any of that negative space out. It is ready to go. So go ahead and add those into your space and start bringing those down to size. Now I start adding in the rest of the text, adding a his and her, although you can use your own names or whatever else that you want. For the cocktail names, I am using the font Paradiso and Bold. I originally picked the regular, but you can see that I changed the style to bold here in a minute. I then duplicate that text box to create my second cocktail and make that the same height as my other ones so they match. Um, you can then go into the align functions and that will help align your text. So when you are ready to create your design, get rid of that placeholder box, select your whole design and select weld or attach. This will make it cut all as one decal. Now that I am ready to cut, I am using Oracle 651, so I'm going to choose the premium outdoor vinyl setting. Load that into my Cricut Maker just by using the standard mat and I am using the Craftopia soft scraper to adhere the vinyl onto that. After that has made it cut, just unload that from your machine and start weeding. Um, I do like to take my Cricut knife and kind of do this line by line so I make little cuts um, in between each set of lettering just so I can easily um, weed that, especially when I'm working with more intricate pieces like this. So 
So once your piece is weeded, you can go ahead and add your transfer tape to it. I like this blue gridded transfer tape whenever I'm working with acrylic pieces, or you can use this XL Cricut mat. Um, if you're using the gridded transfer tape, you do not need to use the Cricut mat, but I just wanted to show you guys how that looked. Um, if you're using the Cricut mat, you can just use regular transfer tape without the grid lines. Um, but this transfer tape does work really well on acrylic without leaving any residue or anything. So I, this is one of my favorites to use for acrylic pieces. So just peel up that transfer tape and then you can leave this piece as is. It looks great um, just with the clear acrylic in the white lettering, um, but I wanted to add this pretty violet color. It's Anita's um, acrylic paint and violet. And then the paintbrush I'm using is a Craftsmart one inch. This is the paintbrush that I use for most of my acrylic pieces. And um, before you start painting, determine which way you want the paint uh, brush strokes to be going. So most of the time I do it this way, um, but sometimes I forget and do it the other way and it looks just fine. So either way you guys do it, it's going to be nice. And these pieces are all one of a kind, so however yours turns out, I'm sure it is going to be beautiful. Um, but I do like adding the decal on, on these painted ones, um, just so I can kind of see how it looks. Um, as I am making it. And if you want to seal these, uh, the Minwax Polycrylic is great for this. I just use a clear satin, but really any finish is going to work just fine since this is on the back of the piece. Um, but this will just help protect that paint and help it not scratch whenever it is in the holder. Let that dry overnight and you have a beautiful handmade piece that will reflect your own style. I really hope that this video helped in designing and creating your own wedding decor. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more wedding DIY projects and I will see you guys soon.